What's up, people? It's your girl, Adiola. So, Nigerian president appointed new national security advisor and service chiefs. Oh, well. We are finally doing something about fighting Boko Haram. Call it the my brother. Oga Bwari must have watched our last episode. Eh? Yes, Benny. Oga Bwari, you keep watching and we will keep talking. You now do it. You see, this show is very effective. So, it looks like uh, the EFCC is getting back on its feet. You guys have seen how they've been arresting a lot of former governors lately. By the way, that former governor of Jigawa, the one that was sent to prison with his sons until the next hearing. I heard that uh, the man has been released to, eh? That they bailed him out. I said, Habba, this is not fair. Now, it's not fair. If this were to be young graduates with no jobs doing Yahoo Yahoo scam, if anybody tries to bail them, they will say no. Look at these people. It's so not fair, eh? The same governor, by the way, was the one that was reported to be the best governor of the year last year. I said, the man steals. You get what I'm saying? That is God. You know what baffled me, though, was the reaction of his people when he got home after they released him. Come and see the welcome that they gave this man. Nigerians, this is our problem. Somebody stole money, they sent him and his sons to prison for stealing. Yet you are welcoming him like this. There is God, though. There is God. The people we should celebrate, we don't celebrate. The people that we shouldn't be celebrating, they are the ones that we are celebrating. So I heard that uh, the former governor of Imo State was also arrested for a 270 million naira fraud. Hmm, yes, so. But you know what made me happy? They set his home bill at 270 million naira. Yes, how incredible. All those people that stole money, when you arrest them, just set their bill at whatever amount they've stolen. Quite you call case closed now. The only thing though that pained me in his own story is that, you see, when people steal money, they don't always think about how it would affect not just them, but their family members when they get caught. Yes, because the embarrassment that it brings the whole family is not worth it. If you're already a governor, why still? You get paid a lot of money. I said this because so many people that have been reporting the story have been including the fact that, oh, by the way, he is the father of that popular YouTuber, Adana. You guys know Adana now. Even some people that are commenting on the story, they are also bringing up the daughter's name. This daughter is somebody that I actually admire. She does a lot of great YouTube videos with her husband. I just love their works. I'm saying this because the daughter may not know anything about this fraud. Now her face is also in the story. My point is being caught up doesn't only affect you, but those that are related to you. So my people, if your mother or father or any relative of yours is a government official, please and please keep it real with them. Tell them the truth so that they don't embarrass you. You know me, I'm just saying my own. So I have some great news this week. Yes, yes. First of all, two Nigerian teenagers have created a mobile web browser that is faster than Google Chrome. Yes, so ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the brothers, 13-year-old Anessi and 15-year-old Osine Eanosime. They are the creators of Crocodile Browser, an Android application. I'm like, what was I doing when I was 13? I can't even remember. But those guys have really, really impressed me and all Nigerians are very proud of you, by the way. Thank you so much for making us proud. So the app can be downloaded from Google Play Store and it is currently reviewed as a 4.7 out of 5 star rating. Yes! So the two of them started coding long before they even became teenagers. I'm like, they must be whiskeyed. Eh? Their dream is to attend Massachusetts Institute of Technology someday and eventually own their own technology company in Nigeria. So kudos to them. Make sure that you download their browser. More than 40,000 people have downloaded it. Yes, I downloaded it myself and it's really Really fast. Still on technology. Whatever a man can do, you guys know that women can do it better. Yes. So please give it up for four Nigerian secondary school girls this month who won first place at the 2015 Global Technology Innovation Award. Yes. So oh, yes, yes, yes. The finale was held at San Francisco in California, and the challenge was for girls to create an app that would solve a problem in their community. 64 countries participated, with more than 3,000 entries. But the app that won the first place was the one by this Nigerian girls. It's known as Discadios, an app for solving the problem of improper waste disposal in Nigeria. Once you've downloaded it, you can request a mobile card to pick up your waste and you will select the nearest one to you because you can select from Google map and then you will tell them how many containers you need and they will tell you how much it is and then they will come and pick it up. You can also report a hazard in your environment. If you see trash where a 
it's not supposed to be you can report it and a waste disposal company will come and pick it up how cool is that this is so much needed considering the fact that lagos alone generates 9000 tons of municipal solid waste every day 9000 tons that's really really needed and i really admire these ladies so many individuals and business owners are already using this app they beat contestants from all over the world from us canada brazil india uk i am so proud right now you know <laughs> my girls won twenty thousand dollars shallow one of them said something that i really appreciate and i cannot forget people mostly yeah. believe that ict boys fashion shopping girls <laughs> so us doing ict it inspires a lot of girls not only in our country but in africa and the whole world. Amen, sister. Amen. <laughs> I don't know why so many people think that only boys or guys can know about technical stuff. Can you imagine what's an insult? Eh, my dear, if you are watching and you want to go into technology, please let these girls inspire you. If there's any young lady out there that wants to get into technology, let these ladies inspire you. Whatever a man can do, we can always do better. Can you imagine that some people will tell me that you are a lady? What do you know about politics? And you know, I don't get upset. I don't even do karate with them i just look at them i said me i don't know anything i'm just keeping it real low and they will say hey, you didn't look like you know anything anyway so congratulations to these girls we're very proud of you guess what i'm just keeping it real <laughs> <laughs>